Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. You know, if you've watched my channel, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I love everything about it. We would be honored if you would join us. So just to catch you up to date, just to catch you up to speed, uh, a couple Christmases ago, my brother got me the Dia Dostini Build Your Own X-Wing Kit as a gift. And he actually got himself the Build Your Own Millennium Falcon. So he's building that uh, while I'm building the X-Wing. And every single box comes every month and a half-ish. And I don't always build them immediately as soon as it arrives because uh, most of the time there's not that much inside of each box even though there's several magazines and then of course the parts that go with each magazine each magazine the parts the, it varies it could be like three it could be like 15 but putting it together it doesn't take a whole lot of time there's no glue okay right away let me just say there's no glue on any of this uh, even though I choose to glue some things down just because I'm worried there isn't any glue in this this is all snapped together or tiny, 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 tiny little Phillips screws. So because of the sheer weight of this object, because it's so big and so heavy, and because a lot of the parts are made out of metal, uh, it literally has to be screwed together. This is bolted together. There's also no painting, right? No painting on this, no decals to lay down, nothing like that. So if there's, you know, no, no gluing, no decals, no painting, it, it tends to go pretty quickly. Well, because it goes so quickly, and because the parts inside, um, there, there's not that many, sometimes I save a few boxes. Well, <laughs> I got a box the other day, actually just a couple days ago, and I said to myself, wow, I think I've got a lot of boxes uh, saved up that I haven't gone back to. Go back to my last video where uh, I showed you putting the X-Wing together, and it was back in May. <laughs> so I realized I haven't, um, I haven't worked on my X-Wing in quite a while. So went upstairs, grabbed all my boxes and decided, you know what, I'm just gonna sit down and go through all these boxes today. So this video is gonna show you the build, me going through all the boxes, me showing you exactly what's inside, how it's all coming together, and hopefully you'll get a little progress report about how my X-Wing build is going so far. Let's go. All right, so here's my boxes that I haven't done. These are boxes 10 through 14. And these are uh, the wings that I've already completed, just to kind of catch you up. So I've done these two wings, this cockpit, and this one gun. So obviously, uh, every box, uh, we'll start with box 10. We're gonna go through them in order. Obviously, every box contains uh, some issues, right? So we have issues 37 through 40. And then you'll see pictures of the issue alongside the parts that come with it. And then the opened parts, so you'll see the parts that are on the table. And then we'll talk about the articles that are in each issue. So there's always gonna be an uh, article about a pilot or one of the Star Wars heroes, and then of course a ship. And then I'll show you the parts completed. So what those parts look like together when they're done. And you know, the pictures go by pretty fast because really uh, building an X-Wing is boring. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't mean that to say, you know, anything disparaging about the X-Wing ship itself or the Diodostini model, or even my brother who got me this. But um, if you think about it, an X-Wing is just four wings, right? Four wings and four identical wings. The wings aren't really that different other than maybe the paint job or the decals that are on it, but just the parts themselves that make up the wing, they're, they're the same. So for something to be coming in the mail, you know, every other month or so, and you know they just give you a handful of parts, and I really haven't done a whole lot of packages about the nose cone or the cockpit, right? Or the or the backmost um, part of this. Really, this is a lot of wing building, and so wing building becomes very steady and very monotonous because <laughs> they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the same. I'm sure my brother is having a lot more fun. Uh, building the Millennium Falcon because you know the Millennium Falcon when you think about it as a ship It's really a hodgepodge of all kinds of fun greeblies And I'm sure there's some inside things that he's getting to build as far as like the cockpit and uh, the gaming room and uh, computer terminals X-Wing is flat right <laughs> flat wings uh, with the cylindrical engine 
and then the uh, cannons that rest on the ends of each wing. Now the nice thing about building this X-Wing is, or at least I think the fun part is, there's a lot of LEDs involved. So all of the cannons have uh, an LED that runs down the center of the cannon that is a red light. So there's a red emitter coming out of the end of the tip of each one of the cannons. Then there's also a red light in the engine uh, in the back, you know, the thrusters in the back where, where you'd see the red light, you know, in the movies, there's a red light back there. So every single one of these wings also has uh, LED wires that run through the body of the ship. And so part of assembling each wing is laying that LED wire, putting it in a place that's nondescript where it's not gonna get in the way, and then making sure it works, right? Because every time you snap a wing together, you should stop every now and then and test it and say, okay, is it still working? Is it still working? Because you know, once it's done, it's, it's gotta work. So every wing has two LED leads that are running out of it. So one LED lead is for the cannon and the other LED lead is for the engine. And so I'm assuming that once this is, you know, nearing completion, see there's an LED uh, right there. Uh, once this is nearing completion, I'm sure there'll be some sort of energy housing or some sort of battery casing inside the main body of the X-Wing that these LED lights, see there's the engine light right there. I turned it on for you so that you could see uh, what it would look like. There's going to be some sort of power source inside the main body, somewhere around where R2-D2 sits, that all of these LEDs will plug into. So that'll only add to the weight of this vehicle, because right now it's very large and very heavy. So even in its you know, non-completed state, I have to find places to store all these wings. Here's the wing uh, getting a little better. And you saw the little LED wires coming off the edge of this. Uh, and then you have a lot of parts like this that kind of, be, uh, that kind of are dis discouraging. These silver parts right here that go in the engine, uh, they're unseen. So there's a lot of things in this build that are you know fun for the x-wing aficionado that says like oh this is you know this is that part that makes the x-wing fly or that that you know that here's that part that you hear mentioned in the star wars films but as you're assembling it that part just vanishes They're, they've made some really uh interesting looking parts they've made some very beautiful looking parts that literally get that, see like that silver piece that silver cone right there it's all going to vanish as more parts get laid down on top of it. So much like how you'd build an engine in say, you know, uh, a 1957 Chevy model, you know, you, once you put the hood down, the engine disappears or, you know, all the transmission that you build or, you know, the drivetrain that you build, you know, it all vanishes. So there's a lot of things in this X-Wing build that completely disappear once you put it in its casing. So that sometimes gets to be frustrating, especially when some of those things that get hidden are actually harder to build. <laughs> They're harder to build than the things you see. Uh, so here we're gonna build another cannon. So that's kind of exciting. So they always uh, give you the cannon to build first and then the wing. So I've finished building a third wing completely. So I have three completed wings now and now starting on uh, a fourth cannon. And so there's the little LED wire, you can see it in there, that little transparent wire right there. That's the, well, that's the light. So you, the LED wire is the black wire and then the light itself or the, the, the thing that kind of carries the light along, I should say. And so there's, you can see the LED wire sticking out of the light right there. And you can see it again, coming off the back end of that cannon. And you know, here, here's a good example. You know, you have a bag, this is issues 51. And then inside that bag, you, you maybe have a handful of pieces and they're pieces for a wing. So they're gonna be big and flat, <laughs> right? Big and flat, there's a couple of things that snap on. I think on that wing itself, there's three things that snap onto the top. But um, you start to recognize the same parts. Like even as you have watched this video, you've seen some bags now that have come apart that have the exact same parts in it that were just a few boxes back. And again, not complaining, not complaining. It's just 
it's just the excitement, <laughs> the, the excitement of building X-Wing wings uh, can get a little monotonous, you know, just over and over again. But uh, the thing you're looking forward to, of course, is the completed X-Wing. And I think the issues that, that make it a little bit more exciting too, because the issues are just jam-packed. You know, I think these issues would be fun reading for anyone uh, that was a Star Wars fan. You certainly don't have to be building this because there's a lot of behind the scenes in these issues. They talk to the model builders about uh, the model builders, uh, or sorry, about the model building process. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's uh, behind the scenes for A New Hope when they were just, you know, making the X-Wing and how they talk about um, what went into making the first uh, X-Wing models or uh, how they blew the X-Wings up. You know, they had to blow them up and they had to put pyrotechnics inside of them. There's articles that talk about that as well. Plus all the, you know, crossover stuff that's in this, like you, here you're, you're seeing a prototype ship that was only seen in the comics or they, you know, they'll mention the Star Wars Rebels or they'll uh, mention Clone Wars. And so there's a lot of crossover uh, in some of the articles too. So I think all the, the issues kind of keep <laughs> the, the, hey, there's Porkins. Um, the issues kind of keep some of the excitement going for you uh, as you're building the X-Wing. But like I said, you know, the goal is the completed uh, product. That had a lot of parts on it, all those little greeblies on the outside of the engine. Uh, you have to snap all of those down. And that part of the engine actually gets seen a little bit more. This brown piece, though, does not. So you're going to build a little fan propeller blade uh, on the end of it. You snap all that together. It's a little uh, brown cone piece, and it all rests inside of... Uh, the engine, and you don't you see it's all all that brown stuff is going to be snapped inside of the silver, so you won't see any of that. Uh, here's all the pieces that I have left. So these are the pieces that I have right now that uh, I have in a box ready to put together with something else. And I'll show you some side by sides. So here's the center uh, model compared against two toys. So this is what a completed wing looks like with the cannon, and here's what all three of them look like together. So you can see how the X-Wing is coming together, how it, uh, eventually it's going to look. I'll just give you a little video tutorial, or sorry, a video shot of everything kind of all haphazard put together. But here's my two completed wings that'll be on top of each other eventually, and the cannons that go with it. And uh, just giving you an idea of how massive the scope is, how gigantic it is. This is one big model that I'm really excited about, but it's going to be a lot of fun to have and to display. All right, so hopefully that brought you up to speed on my Diodostini Build Your Own X-Wing Kit. Have you ever done one of these before or uh, built a model before? Maybe just built a model. Um, I built a model of the, the shuttle, the Imperial shuttle. I built a model of that and I built a model of the um, speeder bike. I did a speeder bike model once before, a uh, long time ago when I was a kid. You got a, any models, any uh, Ravel snap type models uh, lying around or you still have them in your house somewhere? Tell us down below uh, your experience with Star Wars model building. Thanks for watching guys, may the force be with you. I'll see you next time, bye.